Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokonic here, and today we're going to be going over some world tournament team building. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I provide here on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications, that way you get the most recent and up-to-date information about Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle delivered directly to you. Thank you, enjoy the video, and have a great day. Alright, so let's go ahead and start off. Uh, it's currently July 18th of 2017. So we are talking about the global side, and that is what all the cards we're going to be going over. So all the cards as of this date, this is what I'm going to be going over in terms of what is the most optimal unit, units, team to use in the world tournament. So first off, I have over here. Uh, there's two different sets of ways I like. To, I personally like to tackle the world tournament. This team is my first team that I like to bring. Now, obviously, I can't bring every single one of these units, uh, but my leader is the LR Androids. That's because they give a key plus four. This is for the lower rounds. This is for the rounds that are like five times up to like ten times, I believe, this team is good on. I do the key plus four because I'm bringing an entire team of AOEs, or attack all. So AOE means area of effect, which essentially means it's an attack all unit. It can take on every single person it, once they launch their super attack. All seven of the opponents in the World Tournament will get hit by their attacks. Now, Android, uh, the LR Androids, now this is specifically only for the early rounds, um, and or for you grinding the 20 consecutive wins if you just want to make sure you can get them or if for some reason because I know the game loves to do this when you're in the middle of going in the world tournament and it reverts to a non-optimal team and you end up having <laughs> end up dying because you can't you just can't win um, this is the team to help you get your uh, multiplier back now I, at this point in time I haven't gone over world tournament information and how the points are calculated and everything I might do that for this tournament I might save it for the next one uh, it depends on how busy the week is but uh, as of right now, we're just worrying about team building. LR Androids give everyone four key. This is for easier events, so that way you don't need to have the attack buff or the HP buff because the enemies will not be attacking you that hard. Obviously, ideal LR Broly. Um, I also like the Arale. See, I don't like to have Majin Vegeta as a primary choice here just because he needs uh, 18 or more key in order to do a super attack. Trunks is decent, but usually he can't do it in one round. Um, and I like this Vegeta. So right off the bat, I have one, two, three, four, five of these cards that I usually bring with me. Um, and I usually bring the Chow Man too, just because I have him. He doesn't really do a lot of damage. Um, he doesn't even one-shot them. So he's just more there to get them all down a little bit. So like if Chow Man and Trunks are on the same field together, the two of them can possibly do it together. Um, I just got Cell. So I don't know. I th I'm pretty sure he could one shot on five times event when you get him 11 key. He's very dependent though. You need to get him an 11 key. That's the only time he'll do a, a super attack. Uh, I did throw this other Broly on here just in case you don't have the LR Broly. You could substitute them. But essentially, uh, these guys all up here should be technically be able to one shot all of the enemies uh, when they launch their super attack. Uh, these two are the only two down here. The Chow Man and the Trunks are the only two who technically can't do it on the medium levels, I would say. Uh, anything at like five or lower, though, you should be good. This is how I usually start off the World Tournament, just so I get my consecutive wins up and get my damage multiplier up. Then I switch over. Now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna probably yell and scream and say, Duck on, why are you doing this? I, I have LR Broly, but I do bring the Nuker with me. I use a Super Saiyan 3 GT Kid Goku for my nuking ability. Now, why? Why would I do this when I have Broly? Well, personally, because I have a Raleigh. A Raleigh is an is a AOE. Now, it, technically, yes, I don't need it. I could just use Broly and I can get the HP, attack, defense buff. Uh, it might be more viable in terms of longevity inside of the World Tournament, so that way you know, or at least you have a higher chance of not having your uh, counter reset for consecutive wins. But overall, you can get to the World Tournament quicker because you have this Arale there. Now, granted, you're going to have to use key and manipulation, but that's what we have here. We have the Goten, we have Android 17, and we have Boo. All of these guys are key manipulators. They will manipulate key, so that way your field is optimal for your key variants, or for your guys who want to get the um, your, your super attacks off with the, with the nuke capability, with their AoE attacks. Now, Broly technically doesn't need it. It's really meant more for Arale. So, as you can see over here, Arale has two links with um, Boo. One is the Innocence for a 10% attack buff and Revival, so you want to keep them together because then she gets the key. Personally, I think that this is a really good team. I like to run it. It, it helps me get through the World Tournament because when Broly's not on the field, Arale is, and then I just get to, I just nuke. I nuke left and right. There's a very, very seldom chance where I will have a Broly 
and in the Raleigh off shift or off rotation where I can't use either. And that's including me bringing an LR Broly friend. So, I mean, and even with this team, the good thing about this team also, because you, you can't switch in the middle of the tournament, if you have a friend for some reason who set the OG Broly as lead, you could still bring him and utilize him to go after all the opponents on a 20 times multiplier. But that's just my reasoning behind it. The other one that a lot of people do like to run, the typical one, is the LR Broly lead. Now, who do you bring? Now, you see a whole bunch of cards up in here, and I know it's a little bit confusing. Now, who do you bring with you for an LR Broly team? Personally, there's a, there's a lot of good choices. Optimally, I like bringing Rose. Let's see if I can get this freaking thing to click over here. So you have Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Super Saiyan over here, right? So Rose gives Extreme Types key plus three, and you have Prepared for Battle, which is key plus two. So that is five key. Plus you have the LR Broly lead, which is three key. So that's three, three, it's six, and then you have two, so it's seven, eight key. There's a total of A key when linked with Rose, and you get some nice attack buffs. That's really, really useful, really good. I personally like Rose. It does a little bit better than you having the other Broly friend. The other, the, the, having the secondary Broly, the Super Saiyan Broly, is cool because you get the, the attack links, you get the Berserker attack link, and, I mean, I think that's really in the same lineage, which is one key. So Rose is definitely better for making sure Broly gets all of his key. Um, this is really cool. If you have him, good for you. Get, use him, I guess. I don't know. I personally don't think he's an optimal unit for the World Tournament. I think he's just there better for using on a LR Broly team um, when you're going up against major events because then he hits off more of his attacks. That Berserker really is what it is uh, once that Berserker is gone. But Berserker only activates when HP is 50% or below, so that's really not an optimal you know, link in my opinion until it goes off. But anyway, the other one that I really like to link with him is the Turles because he gives him prepared for battle and Turles also gives key plus three. So as his passive skill on HP is 50% or above. So that's a little bit more optimal in my opinion because it's the world tournament you're gonna wanna you're always wanna make sure you have a key. And that is kinda why I also have this Buhan over here. As you see my Buhan, he will heal you so your HP will always stay over at 50%. So if you have Buhan and Turles and LR Broly, they work very well, especially if you have this Rose. Now the other thing, the other guys who I have over here is I usually choose at least one key orb manipulator to help keep the field going. Um, it's either Android 17, the Go 10, the Doken Waken or not Doken Waken, doesn't matter, he does the same thing. Um, or the Boo. The Boo, I believe, changes from type to type. Uh, he changes from Intelligence Key to Strength uh, Key. That's useful. That's very useful. I prefer going to Rainbow, so that's why I like the, the actual... Tr the, the, oh, sorry. The Trunks. I've been saying Trunks. The Goten. Physical to Rainbow, because it gives you a little bit more options. It doesn't, like... It doesn't set you up so you have to use Strength. I like having the field open for myself so that way I can go after them. That 17 also changes Key Orbs from uh, Agility to Strength. I just gotta bring it up because he's the JP version. But um, so any of these guys are really useful. I would prefer probably the Goten just because he's a Super Saiyan and he changes it to Rainbow like the 17 does. Uh, might be a little bit more optimal. And you see these two little SRs off in the distance. Um, these guys will become more relevant on the 30 time multiplier. But apparently, uh, I haven't done this myself, but I read a whole bunch of different Reddit posts on this. Apparently, these two will stun everyone the first time that they are on the field. Um, that's the Intelligence Chiao Tzu. Yeah, I hate you, Chiao Tzu, but Jesus, apparently you're relevant. And Jocko, which I think Jocko is pretty damn cool. Um, both of them, apparently, the first time when they're, they're on the field, everyone gets stunned. So that becomes useful if, you're, if your LR Broly isn't there. And if you have both of them, I mean, what are the chances of you not being able to have LR Broly and these two not show up at the same time. You know, very, very slim. But um, personally, if I was to choose a team between all of these guys, um, I would have LR Broly, and then I would pair Turles and or uh, Rose. If you have both, then that's great. I would still I'll probably go with um, with Turles, just because he gives the, him the key plus two on the link. Um, actually, so does... Uh, hmm. Yeah, actually, I'll probably go with Rose. I'm going to go with Rose first, and then Turles is a good backup for that Rose. So I'll put him there, so that way you know that's that's my first choice. And then I would have the Go 10, and underneath Go 10, I would have Android 17 as a primary. Um, and then definitely Buhan. And, I mean, at that point, you can bring whoever else you want. Bring someone who gives you additional key. Bring someone who hits hard. Bring someone who tanks. Bring someone else who heals. Um, or just throw another orb changer on there, or bring one of these guys who stuns. Uh, honestly, when you're bringing LR Broly, uh, I think that these four are going to be your most optimal picks. At least my opinion on it. I mean, there are other there are other people who will definitely say something different. But let me know what you guys personally prefer if you're bringing an LR Broly team. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is an LR Majin Vegeta team. 
Now, uh, Elder Maj Majid isn't that much talked about because in order for you to run him on a team, you need to get him 18 plus key in order to launch some super attacks. So you're definitely like, like uh, what I was kind of saying about these guys before also, you're, you're going to probably want to bring key orb manipulators, but this specifically, you're going to definitely want to bring some key orb manipulators for this Majid Vegeta. Now, let's just talk about him in general. Um, first off, he is a pretty good card. You need to do his AoE launches at 18 or more key. But per, there are a lot of cards that will actually link very well with him in order to get that his um, the 18 key multiplier. First off, the Dokund Goku, the Kaioken Goku, the agility one. He shares two link skills with him. Over in a flash, if I can get it to load. Um, over in a flash and shattering the limit. Now, the two of them uh, give him five key. So he gives himself three key, then you have five key, that's eight key pretty decent and then you have rose which only shares super saiyan but rose has the key plus three um and then essentially since this much Vegeta has over in a flash anyone with over in a flash will, will work pretty well with him uh turles gives him the shattering limit uh the uh this piccolo actually you know it's funny he actually works really well with him as well because he gives him shattering the limit which is key plus two and the passive skill on him is key plus three uh and this goku over here gives him uh shattering the limit for a key buff now, anyone with, like I said before, with over on a flash will link very well with him. If you put Majin Vegeta in the middle with over on the flash link, that's 6 key, plus his 3 key, that's 9 key, that, that gets you a lot closer than when you're already at. Um, he's not optimal, that's why everyone goes for the LR Broly. Uh, he will, you know, you could definitely use him, you're going to want to get some key orb manipulators for you to be able to get him to go get his super attacks off. Um, I'm about to actually go over... Um, a whole bunch of the different key orb manipulators. I have a whole bunch of them down over here on the next page. Uh, we're going to go over that in a second, but specifically for the agility one, the uh, Android 18, which I don't have up over here, but the Android 18 is the only one. She changes physical orbs to agility orbs. It's the future 18, the SSR agility. Um, outside of that, you have the uh, SR trunks, who changes rainbow key to agility key, which might be a little bit more useful for you. Uh, but outside of that, uh, nothing too much. Uh, I, th I think that's about it. Uh, LR Maj Vegeta isn't the most optimal, like I've been saying, but let's go ahead and talk about the tech team. That's what I have up right here. Uh, now we're going over to Nuker territory. If you don't have either of those LRs, uh, the same thing is going to hold true for Broly, like what I was saying over here on my specific run. Um, this Nuker over here with the, with the SSJ3 GT Goku, if you don't have LR Broly, you can just throw the OG Broly in here. Um, as I said earlier, too, with a friend Broly. Uh, you could just throw the OG Broly in there and you can nuke with him and he'll take everything on. And that's the same tactic we're going to do over here. You have the Super Saiyan God, or Super Saiyan Blue Goku, uh, as your leader. Then you have the Majin Vegeta over here. Uh, this Majin Vegeta is an AoE at 12 key. So you can go ahead, as long as you have enough key that goes, you'll be able to take him on. Now, my optimal team, which I've always run up until actually the LR Broly came out, was uh, this as my leader. The Majin Vegeta for his AoE attack. This uh, Bardock, because he is a key orb manipulator. This guy, let's see what he does. He changes strength key to tech key, which is super useful. And this Dokken Gotenks, which changes agility to rainbow. So having all these guys on your on my team was from phenomenal. Because I literally would be able to AoE all the time. Now you see all these cards over here. Like, why are they here? What are these guys even doing here? This makes no sense. No, see all of these cards. Every single one of these uh, changes type to rainbow. So like, look, like this is the kind. Of, I don't have this one specifically. I really want to change the strength to rainbow key. Super useful because it opens up the field for you. Uh, this Goten I you will like to run as well, and he changes physical to rainbow. And then you have the 17 and 13. So this the 17 is agility to rainbow key. And then we have a 13, which is Tech to Rainbow. Actually, you know what? I, that's why I didn't bring him. I never ran him on my team. You don't want him. Let's get him off of there. Because uh, <laughs> he changes tech. So any of these guys. I typically ran, though, the Gotenks and the Android 17. Uh, but that will allow you to AoE with your Tech Majin Vegeta if you have one. Uh, and then we're going to essentially apply the same concept. You're going to keep um, these guys in mind, these four over here, for this. Except you're going to add, add the Android 13 because you're not worrying about tech. I think we're actually going to take off because we have to get the tech key to rainbow. Now we want the physical. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna forget about the go tanks there and add the, the thirteen because the the go tanks. I mean the go tanks. The go ten removes the physical key orb, and you want that because this is gonna be a physical new. Now you're gonna run the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and your your AOE is gonna be your trunks. Now I guess technically you throw Chow Man on there. Uh, I did mention him a little bit earlier. Though here he is perfect, so I don't even have to do anything. 
Uh, Chow Man just kind of stinks, though. He, he's not going to be able to AoE on a 20-time multiplier. Um, I, he's just not going to be able to. He doesn't do that much damage. He just does basic... Ma I mean, maybe mass damage, because I don't think that's what Vegeta does. But I I don't know. I haven't done it. If you guys have done it, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't even have him Z-Awakened yet, so I'm probably not going to try. But my team would consist... Well, has consisted of in the past when I've tried it, especially if I couldn't find any good... Um, uh, good friends, or when I started running out of uh, key or manipulating items. Uh, Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta with the Xeno Trunks, and then the Android 17. This is the future 17. Um, I would also bring the Sproly, uh, just because he attacks two times, and now that we have Super Vegeta because he counters, and he can attack multiple times. Uh, the Chow Man can be useful. You could bring him if you want to. Uh, outside of that, bring a Defender or bring other hard hitters on a physical team. That will definitely help you out. Last but not least, this is for you guys with no one to bring on your team. If you guys don't not have any AoEs, these are the top units that I could recommend to bring. Obviously, you're going to want to bring other hard hitters like Gogeta or Buhan because he hits hard and he heals you. I mean, a, a Buhan is really a staple on any world tournament team, in my opinion, just because he can be added for healing purposes. So on all of these teams, if you have room for Buhan, bring him because he will heal you. That way you don't die. That's one thing you don't want to do is die in the world tournament. You reset your multiplier. But I'm just going to go over these guys. These guys are, they're not the most optimal in terms of getting the most points, but they will allow you to run it the quickest, in my opinion. Broly launches two super attacks when he launches one, like when you get 12 key, he launches two super attacks guaranteed. This go, this uh, Vegeta Blue, Vegito Blue, can launch, technically he could launch up to four super attacks, but after his first super attack, he can launch two more attacks. And depending on the difficulty you're playing at, if you're playing at like a medium difficulty, he could technically one-shot four enemies all at once with normal attacks, you know? Uh, then you also have the Super Vegito. He doesn't do two attacks, but he counters. Oh, this, this Vegito Blue also counters, which is amazing. And then for if for some reason you end up getting super attacked, you have the Super Saiyan 4s. Super Saiyan 4s, as you know, have a medium chance of dodging. Now, the chance isn't that phenomenal whatsoever. But they are there, they are available to dodge if you need them, plus Vegeta tanks. Remember that, Vegeta tanks. So, that will definitely help you out. You can throw someone else like Janemba on there, because Janemba will tank, or a Golden Frieza, uh, or that Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Remember, this: the stat buffs um, reset after every battle, and a battle only lasts three rounds. So, anyone like that Vegeta, will, I believe he has six rounds that his uh, defense lasts, will always work, will not be a problem during the World Tournament. Um, or even bringing a Whis. A Whis will come in very handy if you want to make sure that you stay healed. So if you're running low on Sensu Beans. Um, but that's it, guys. Those are the most optimal teams, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure I hit up on everything right there. Uh, you have your agility, you have your technique, you have your uh, physical, and your strength. So the only one that's missing an AoE at this point in the game is the intelligence. So who knows? Maybe that will be your next one that comes out. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Sorry for the lengthy video. I really hope this helped you out for your World Tournament grind. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and I'll catch you in the next video.